Hello and welcome. Uh, this movie will show you all there is to know about the optical DOM values. First of all, uh, DOM stands for Digital Optical Monitoring, sometimes also a DDM uh, on a label of opting that's uh, Digital Diagnostic Monitoring, which is the, the same thing. Uh, just a bit about the history. The first versions of Xenpex, for example, came without DOM and afterwards it's been developed uh, inside of it. And you can see the difference in the little plus at the end of it. Same goes, for example, for some brocade optics. The first version were the E1 MGLX, uh, and afterwards they put the dash OM for optical monitoring, and that had DOM. Uh, the DOM feature is contained in the EEPROM of the optic. Well, what is DOM? DOM is an extra feature which uh, can be used. It's not essential for the communication, but it's an extra feature on a transceiver. It can display the temperature of uh, the transceiver, the volts and the amps used by the transceiver, and the laser uh, going out and the laser coming in. So how much light is sent by the SFP or the XFP and how much light is incoming as the uh, for the RX. Uh, typically it looks like this. Uh, for example, if you have a Cisco you do show in transceiver, you will see a state like this. So temperature, voltage, current, TX power, you can see so many DBM is outgoing and RX, so from the other side, minus 12 is coming in. There are also thresholds. Uh, thresholds uh, have the warning and the alarm values. In this case, uh, when the receiving power exceeds the 24 dBs, as you can see, you will get a warning. If it exceeds the 24.9, you will get an alarm. And this is all can be seen in the console. The thresholds are always on the EEPROM itself, uh, with an exception of the Cisco 4500 series and the 4900 series, where the thresholds are inside of the iOS itself. How to use them? Well, you can use it, for example, with a, a dark fiber project, uh, where you can see uh, uh, and maintain your uh, the fiber quality. For example, in this case, uh, you have a couple of optics. Uh, one is sending with 1.1 dB. That goes through the MUX. The MUX will block it around 3 dB. It goes through the dark fiber, and on the other side, it will go through the DMUX, and it's received here with minus 21.5. So you know the loss of the uh, of the line with the MUXs is 22.6. So this plus this. For the other side, it's the same thing. And with this feature, with the TX and the RX here, uh, it's a good thing to monitor, but also see when a line doesn't come up. You can see the RX uh, should be, in this case, up to minus 24 dB. Which optics do have done? Well, all optics have done that we deliver. Uh, for the original Cisco, for example, the GBIX cannot have done, and the SFP uh, the first generation don't have DOM. So the GLC SXMM doesn't have DOM, the GLC LHSM and so on, they don't have DOM, but the newer ones have DOM. Solid optics, optics, all our 10 gig have DOM. A BD, CWM, DWM, everything has DOM. Uh, the GB cannot have DOM. Copper optics like the SFP, GET and the GLCT cannot have DOM as well. Uh, originals uh, optics most of the time don't have it. Uh, for example, this GLC BXD doesn't have it, but uh, the solid optics version has it, has it. All our optics standard come with them if we can give it with them. Also for the other brands here, for example, Foundry Brocade, we always deliver with the DOM feature. Same for Juniper and the Octalucent, we always have the DOM feature included in it. If a switch or a router shows DOM, it has to do with the software and the hardware. Our optics have DOM, but for example an older HP switch doesn't have DOM. The newer one will have it, so it depends on the hardware as well. And not only on the hardware, but also on the software. For example, this 4948, um, the DOM is incorporated in later iOS's. So if you are uh, working with 12.2 uh, or 12.1 here, you cannot see DOM features because it's not incorporated in the iOS. Nowadays, typically everything comes with DOM uh, and that's built in in the latest iOS's. But if you're running with a bit older iOS, it could be that it's not showing DOM with your update. Thank you very much.